Some sad news today in the media world. 33-year-old BuzzFeed journalist Michael Hastings died in a car crash in Los Angeles early Tuesday. Hastings joined BuzzFeed in April 2012 to cover the presidential election, but he was also a contributor for Rolling Stone, and he's best known for his candid interview with General Stanley McChrystal. Hastings' article eventually led to McChrystal being relieved of his post as the commander of NATO forces in Afghanistan. BuzzFeed editor-in-chief Ben Smith said in a statement, Michael was a great fearless journalist with an incredible instinct for the story and a gift for finding ways to make his readers care about anything he covered from wars to politicians. When I looked at my Twitter feed yesterday, I hadn't checked it in like 10 minutes. I follow a lot of journalists. It was just one after another after another. People just horrified by this tragedy and also talking about, you know, the, not only the great stories that Michael did for Rolling Stone, for GQ, for BuzzFeed, but also the kind of work that he was just really immersed in covering issues of power and government and the entertainment world and, and just what he still could have done from there. And you know, when you say what he could have done, I mean, that's what really resonated with me. So young and more importantly, uh, as he mentioned, um, he wrote stories that would have otherwise gone unwritten and without him there are stories that will remain untold. Right, right. I, I mean, Michael would talk about often how, you know, he was against the sort of access journalism that a lot of reporters and a lot of mainstream organizations, you know, take part in. And he really wanted to tell stories that the subjects and that people in power would not want written. So he was always looking for that sort of story. And those are the stories that you just fear, you know, might not get told with, with, without him here. And I just want to share his last tweet, if we can. Uh, very telling. At Dirty Wars Q&A with, of course, Jeremy Scahill who joked that Google is the NSA's secret database playing all next week at Landmark Theater in LA. Uh, you know, he even posted a Vine video of him and Jeremy Scahill. You know, when we talk about the legacy, I mean, what was he known for among friends? Had you ever met him personally? Um, yeah, I met him a few times. I first met him in 2008 on the campaign trail, um, you know, and a couple other times. And, you know, because I covered a media, I covered Michael several different times because he, he was in these situations where, um, a lot of other reporters, some more mainstream reporters, were very critical of him because he was going against the grain, it seemed, a lot of times. He was, you know, the McChrystal story, if you remember, you know, some mainstream outlets were suggesting, based on their sources in the government, that maybe he didn't follow the off-the-record ground rules. There was a lot of criticism of Hastings coming from, um, you know, some national media outlets. So, you know, sometimes I would report on him, and then when I would go back to him, he would always say, you know, um, I don't understand why journalists aren't holding people in government and people in power accountable more. Right. That, you know, why are governments seeming to take the side of government in criticizing my work? And I mean, he, he always was sort of pushing against that grain.